Hello, my beautiful, darling, cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian-only channel. Cross-watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could go to my main channel, Tarot of Light. The link is in the description box below. I also have a Leo-only channel and a Virgo-only channel. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. I do a monthly giveaway on this channel. I give away tarot cards, crystals, and um, oracle cards so hashtag what you would like to win in the comment section below okay um, winners go out on the first of the month on the community page um, and all the instructions are on there when I post the winners um, please be sure to check out Juju from Lunar Logic Tarot the link to her channel is below she's an amazing reader especially for personal readings um, what else do I want to tell you guys uh, I think that's it. Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you in your situation. So guys, I am getting more settled in. I do feel a lot better with the TMJ. I'm trying to get the internet situation uh, figured out because it takes a lot longer to upload here in South Carolina, but I'm getting it fixed. And I'm hoping to have my table set up soon with all the stuff and things. So I'm going to be, I'm trying to figure out what kind of design I want to do with that. Okay. So we're getting there little by little. And thank you all for all your patience, love, and support. I love you guys with all my heart. You guys know that. You are such a blessing in my life. Um, all right. So let's get popping. Spirit, tell me about cancer, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Am I here still? Tell me about cancer, please, in love. Tell me about cancer, in love, please. Sun, moon, rising, oh, and Venus signs. Tell me about cancer, in love. We have the devil, Capricorn energy, and we have the seven of wands. Spirit, tell me about cancer, oh, in love. We have the five of wands. Oh, cancer, yikes. And we have the star. Aquarian energy. Tell me about cancer, please. We've got the Ace of Wands and the Eight of Wands. I think we should all just take a minute and talk about this one piece of hair that's destroying my life and tickling my nose. <laughs> all right. Six of Cups under the deck. The Two of Cups. All right. So, Cancer, this could be your side. This could be your person side. So you take it as it resonates, okay? So Cancer, with the devil and the five of wands and the seven of wands, there are people here that, well, not there, there could be multiple people being that I said that. Um, I feel like it's one person though, you know, with that ace of wands energy specifically. This is someone that either has jealousy issues or they are uh, sexually, I feel, I'm feeling a little bit of a vibe of sexually frustrated. I feel like this person's trying to overcome it. I feel like they're trying to hold back from it. But with the star card here, the person that they're focused on is shining like a diamond. Like this person could be very spiritual. Um, they could manifest very easily. This person can emanate a light from them. Okay. So I feel like there's someone here, and not only that, but I kind of get a vibe like this person may even be jealous when outsiders come around. Not outsiders, but like, how can I put it? This could be a situation where like you have a male or female friend and every time you talk to them about a person that you started talking to that you met online or you met at the bar or you met at Target or whatever, I don't know. They feel some type of way about it. Okay, I feel like with the Ace of Wands and the Eight of Wands, this person is going to come forward. I feel like they're going to come forward passionately. There's going to be no doubt that this person is interested in talking to you, pursuing you. Um, now, the only thing, well, I was going to say the only thing I'm not seeing is cups and, you know, spirit shut me right up because we've got the Two of Cups here. Now, with the Six of Cups energy here, with the Six of Cups energy here, this could be, it could be an X, but I gotta be, I mean, it could very well be an X, but Cancer, I feel more so that this is somebody that you already know. 
Six of Cups could represent a gift, and with that Two of Cups, and I'm seeing people out to dinner, this could be somebody that maybe wants to spoil you, wants to take you out to dinner, because I'm getting a little bit of a pampering vibe. Look at that Two of Cups. You see how she's sitting there and pampering him and putting, you know, this could be a little bit, you know, someone here may have a child or children, possibly cancer. I'm seeing blue and red in these two cups. I feel like this is an energy of uh, divine masculine and divine feminine being perfectly balanced. Because a six, a six can represent balance, okay? Anyways, so the point here is, Cancer, is that this is somebody that really wants their person. So Cancer, don't forget, this could be you. This could be you really wanting somebody and losing your shit like you can't hold back anymore. You know, the star card also, don't forget, is a very public card. So this person may post publicly on Facebook, Instagram. They may have a YouTube channel. They may have a podcast, whatever, but they're very public, very popular. When this person walks, people see them. When this person talks, people listen, okay? Tell me about the devil card for Cancer. We've got the four of wands. Cancer, this could be twin flame, could be twin soul. Okay. Now, this could also be an energy of somebody saying, I want to tie this person down. Now, with the seven of swords, the strength card and the seven of wands, this does worry me a little bit because... Could this be an energy that they want to sneak in? They're trying to hold back, but they're lying to themselves and they're saying, listen, I want to move forward and I want to pursue this. Or is this person actually in a relationship? Okay. Tell me. Yeah, see, Ten of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, Leo Sagittarius energy. Oh, wow. The King to the Queen of Wands, Cancer. The King to the Queen of Wands. Okay, so Cancer, this is somebody that's moving forward. It's not just sexual, okay? This is somebody that wants to give their heart. They want to have a relationship. They want to have equal give and take. They are very much sexually attracted, Cancer, okay? Very much sexually attracted. This person does want, you know, as far as I can see, long-term commitment, Cancer. But, you know, we've got that Knight of Wands energy. I, I, you know, tell me about this Seven of Swords. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Seven of Cups. Cancer, it's like this person is envisioning or daydreaming or fantasizing about getting away from something. Or maybe this person's holding back because they don't want to, to appear like a player. I don't know if this person's committed or not, Cancer. All right, tell me about this Five of Wands, please, for Cancer. Tell me about the Five of Wands. We've got the Moon card, Cancer, Piscean Energy. I'm telling you, Cancer, this person has not exposed their true feelings, okay? The Moon card is very deep emotion, but it's repressed emotion. OK, so they're keeping their emotional conflict, their their uh, sexual conflict, their jealousy over you, their possessiveness over you a secret. OK. We've got the eight of cups and the knight of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. I feel like this person has to leave a situation, place, thing to be with you. Tell me about the star card, please, Cancer. Uh, and the two of wands. Yeah, this person, ha I feel like they have to make a decision. And look, we've got the lover's card under the deck with the ten of swords. I had a feeling. Gemini energy. So Cancer, this is somebody that you have your eye on or they have their eye on you. The problem is the person here who has developed feelings is tied to something else. They're tied to something else, okay? Okay. So Cancer, you may be falling in love or daydreaming about being with somebody and you're in a relationship or someone here is doing that, you know, to you. They're in a really and they want to be with you. Tell me about this Ace of Wands for Cancer. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles and this Ace of Wands with the Eight of Swords. 
Cancer, I feel like this is somebody that can't stop thinking about like, man, if I go invest my time and energy over there, how would it be? Tell me about the Eight of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. This could be a friend because we've got three pentacles there. This could be a friend. It could be someone from the workplace. But I feel like there's going to be a lot of communication here from this person that's saying, listen, I can't help but feel we're meant to be together. I can't help but feel we would make a really great team. You know what I'm saying? So tell me about this six of cups, please, for cancer and the five of swords. Cancer, this person may still have an X in the picture. This person may still have an X in the picture. And look, it would appear to me, and you know, every deck is different, Cancer, right? So look at this Five of Swords energy. It looks like these guys are gambling, like they're playing CeeLo or something like that, right? Okay. And I feel like, Cancer, this is somebody that has been with someone perhaps for a long time, and they want to take a gamble on something new. Tell me about this Five of Swords, please. The Ace of Cups in the reverse. Maybe they're not sure if you feel the same. Tell me about the, the Ace of Cups and the Justice card. Libra Energy. So... I feel, Cancer, that honestly, someone here may have fallen out of love with a past life karmic soulmate, and now they want to gamble on something new. Because see, I see the Lover's card and the Eight of Cups with the Ten of Swords again under the deck. So, Cancer, I feel like this is somebody that's saying, I want to walk away and try something new and different. Tell me about this Two of Cups, please, and the Eight of Cups again, Cancer. This person may be closing out a past life karmic soul tie and wanting to take a chance and a gamble with moving towards something new. I feel like there's no love in that past life karmic soul tie. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So we've got the Four of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. So Cancer, the person on this side, I feel like... <sighs> excuse me cancer i feel like the person on this side may possibly have a dog okay they may possibly have a dog and i feel like this person just wants to cuddle up and mind their business this person may like to have may like elephants they may have a lot of elephants around their house um this is somebody that i feel is trying to save their money and just relax. This is somebody that may also have a fireplace in their house or enjoy bonfires. This is somebody that's in relaxation mode. This is someone that's trying to kick back, chill, save their money. They're not really, this person's head is not on uh, relationships. We've got the Hierophant in the reverse. This is someone, Taurus energy, that's really not looking for a relationship. We've got the Empress here, Aries, Taurus, Libra Cancerian energy. I'm kind of surprised that this person didn't show up as nine of pentacles or pre empress energy because I feel like this person wants to be single, but I feel like they're ascending to empress level. Okay. But I feel like they're coming off as committed because they're making promises to themselves. This empress is very sexy looking. The empress is supposed to be a card of fertility. Usually we see the empress as pregnant, but this is an empress that looks like they love themselves. Okay. Pampering themselves, just enjoying life, enjoying the riches of life. We've got the Knight of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. People, I, I feel like people see this person as a prize, as prosperity. Tell me about this person for Cancer. We've got the Hermit, Virgo Energy. And we've got the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries Energy. I feel like this is somebody that is stepping into their power, Cancer, and I feel like this person truly with that Hermit card just wants to be left the hell alone. Uh, that's the vibe that I'm getting from this person. Tell me about the Four of Swords here, please, for Cancer. I, I told you, what did I say? The Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, pre-empress energy. 
So Cancer, this is somebody single. This is somebody abundant. This is somebody that, you know, yeah, this is somebody that is just minding their business and wanting to ascend, uh, ascend, and they are especially focused on saving their money. Three of Cups and the Four of Cups here, Cancer. If people invite this person out to do things right now or whatever, they're going to say no. Three of Cups and the Four of Cups. They're going to say no. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles here for Cancer. We've got the Nine of Swords in the reverse with the Four of Pentacles. Cancer, the person on this side, I'm going to keep it real with you, does not have a fucking worry in the world. Excuse my language. This person, Eight of Pentacles, is working and minding their damn business. For real. Like they're working on their house, their home, their business, their body, their mental health, their spiritual health. Tell me about the Hierophant in the reverse and the Justice card, Libra Energy. Tell me about this empress and the emperor. Cancer, the person on this side is not going to marry anybody or commit to anybody unless there's balance, unless there's equal give and take. What we have here is an empress or emperor energy that is looking for their divine counterpart and they will not settle for anything less. This person is completely fine on their own. They've reached an energy of it's all or nothing. Either I find my perfect match or with the five of pentacles, you're gone. Judgment card and the five of pentacles. Someone here is not playing like the person on this side is not playing cancer. This person's in a mindset of I'm going to do me. I'm going to love myself. I'm going to get this money. I'm going to get the, the, you know, I'm going to do everything I want to do in life. And I'm going to wait for my perfect person to come along. Until then, I'm nobody's boyfriend. I'm nobody's girlfriend. I'm nobody's husband. And I'm nobody's wife. I'm not cleaning nobody's house. I'm not paying for nobody's dinner. I'm not doing nothing until I know that this is my forever person. This person's had enough of the fuckery. Like they're just over it. Okay, tell me about this hermit, please. And the world card in the reverse. Tell me about the queen of wands, please. And the ace of swords. I feel like what's happening here is a lot of people are not believing that this person is really stepping into their own power. Tell me about the world card in the reverse and the ace of swords in the reverse. We've got the Page of Wands, Leo Sag Aries energy. Actually, Cancer, I got to be honest with you. I feel like the person on this side has people around them that feels that they can keep this Empress energy stuck in some type of cycle. Oh, that's who it is. It's the King of Wands. Okay, so this King of Wands is coming in as a page. So this person may be a friend or a co-worker. OK, they're not taking action. They're not taking action towards the Queen of Wands, towards the Empress, because they haven't shut out this cycle just yet. They haven't shut out the cycle just yet. Ten of Wands, Nine of Wands and the Three of Swords with the with the uh, Two of Swords. So Cancer, what's happening here is, is this King of Wands energy is staying in the in the Empress's energy. They want to hold on to this pre empress energy, but at the same time, they're not pursuing the pre empress energy because they don't want to hurt the pre empress energy. You see what I'm saying? Um, Ten of Wands and the Nine of Wands, they're, they're holding themselves back. They're holding themselves at bay no matter how hard it is. And that's because they don't want to hurt the empress energy. They know they need to make a decision before they come forward. Death card, something needs to end so that this look, death card and the full card. You see what I'm saying? Scorpio, Aries energy. This person is fully aware that they need to completely shut out a cycle before they pursue this type of energy. The Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Pentacles. This person knows that the person over here is not playing. If they're going to come forward, they have to come correct. Okay, they have to come correct here. Give me two cards. What else does Cancer need to know? We've got the Four of Cups in the reverse and the Tower, Aries Scorpionic Energy. Cancer, I feel like if this person doesn't move fast enough, it's going to hit. The, I feel like it's actually hitting them that if they don't move, they're going to miss this opportunity. They're going to miss this opportunity. 
Okay. So I feel like that's what's hitting them. Four of Cups in the reverse. And the lovers. Yeah. So, Cancer, I feel like they feel like they're going to lose you to somebody else. Tell me about the tower and the two of cups. You see what I'm saying? They, th this king of wands energy is starting to get scared that if they continue to take the, you know, more time that they're eventually going to lose you to someone else or cancer. You may be afraid that if you take more time, you're going to lose the person that you really want to somebody else. Okay. So we are going to take this into the extended. We're going to talk about the past life karmic soul tie that this person's currently in. What is the, you know what I'm saying? What is the the outcome going to be for that is this person going to truly shut out that karmic cycle to pursue this person now another thing is this person even interested what is going to come because we saw the king and queen of wands we've got the four of wands and the two of cups and we've seen the ten of pentacles multiple times already okay um and we see the emperor and the empress here so is this connection destined to be is this the person that um is this the person that the, the is this finally this person's emperor and empress that's showing up what's going to be the outcome there and guys i just got a real a new oracle deck which is really awesome for you know new love and everything to give you some hints on who this person might be okay so the link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below um also i do a 100 giveaway to anyone uh, who purchases the extended you're automatically entered to win i love you guys so much i'll see you there take care my loves. Bye.